What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, back with some more Pirate Rumble action, and the main reason why we're doing it today is because we have something to talk about, being a brand new Sugo Fest exclusive that I was able to pull on the Pirate Rumble banner, I did some multis off screen, ending up pulling the brand new Rumble Legend smoothie, I think she, yeah, she is the latest Rumble Legend in the game, and with this, I now own every single Sugo Fest exclusive in the game. So that's awesome. I'm really happy about that. So uh, anything that comes our way, hopefully we can deal with it. But here we go with Smoothie. So I'm not too sure if I'll make an actual showcase with her abilities and content. We, we may still do that. But today I want to talk about Rumble because she's obviously built to be used in Rumble. That was where she debuted, of course. So let's go ahead and break down her abilities. She is going to be focused around quick. Now, I've been a big advocate for boosting classes instead because classes need the support. Color teams are amazing right now in Rumble, but unfortunately, classes are a little on the wayside so I really hope that we get more support for those types of characters in the future but we're talking about quick today and she's gonna provide quick units with 5 speed 5 attack 5 HP which is a very good rumble ability and then a 26 CT which will target enemies in a large horizontal range for a 100% chance of paralysis for 20 seconds that's actually pretty good and then targets one enemy with high special CT for a 50% CT delay. I think that's going to be really cool moving forward. Hopefully before the enemy launches the special, we can delay them so that they don't launch their special. Hopefully we can get that to launch today. And then also targets a single target enemy with low HP for three times attack up to two times. So doing pretty good damage to that character. Hopefully with a character at low HP, we can get those knockouts, force the bench to come in. That's the best case scenario here. So we're using her alongside other quick units. We've got Kaido and Akainu, probably the, the two best quick units in the game for Rumble. We've got Izo and Okiku because we're going to be probably focusing strength target teams. That is the idea. And then we've also got Shiryu, we've got the groggy monsters on the bench, and then the two giants of Dory and Broggy. Both of those two characters are actually very good in Rumble together, and I feel like that even though they don't really fit too much on a quick team, they synergize well together enough that they are worth using because they just do so much damage. So I guess that's the very brief breakdown of, of this team. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find some opponents today. So this is the classic strength team that they try and bait you in because they're like, they've got Rayleigh and they've got some pretty average looking strength units there. But then you see on the bench that you've got the Final Tap Kid. I think despite Final Tap Kid, I feel relatively comfortable in this matchup, especially because we have Izo and Okiku, which can provide some pretty decent debuffs to the opposing team. But the thing with Rayleigh on their side of the field is Rayleigh doesn't really get a lot of buffs, but he really helps out those strength units because when Rayleigh falls below 50% health, I believe it's below 50%, he gives the crew a uh, substantial defensive buff which means that those strength units are going to ultimately become a lot harder to KO but of course we're hoping that we can use the special ability of smoothie to delay any character that has that high CT and also we can paralyze them so that we don't take too much normal damage and uh, really hoping that smoothie gets a couple of KOs and she's already launching a special which is crazy delaying that lore and doing really solid damage to Rayleigh Rayleigh's already nearly knocked out actually he might go out here Rayleigh's already gone that's incredible so we don't have to worry about his annoying defensive effects unfortunately kid did not come in with Izo or Kiku launch the special because Izo and Kiku they just do so much goddamn damage and uh, Kid is going to be coming in now. So now we're about now we're about the real matchup. This is the real matchup we wanted to see. So Jack's going to come in do some health cuts and some uh, defense to their side of the field. Ace is going to hurt a little bit here. Let's see. Okay, that was actually a pretty serious amount of damage. But this is what we wanted to see. Have a look at this. Get the health cut, the damage, the additional damage because their strength, and then Kaido would have been nice to get Kaido first, but it's fine. Oh, good damage, and we knocked out Kid, Law, and Toki, got Jack and Ace left, and with all that being said, that is a wrap. There is absolutely no way we lose this game from here. It's a wrap. Wrap it up with a bow tie on top, and it's over. And Smoothie, just getting the final KO, might as well do it. There it is. Very, very easy. So, yeah, no issues whatsoever against that relatively old-school strength team. Not too many people will utilize that as a defense team anymore. Quick have, have received quite a few characters since this team was kind of incepted, and, you know, Quick teams can easily handle teams like this nowadays. So that was a pretty impressive victory right there. I saw this team and I just, I couldn't get away from it. I, I wanted to just challenge this one. The main reason why I wanted to target this one is because Wano Law is not present. You know, if you're running this team specifically, you want to avoid Wano Law at all costs. The reduced CT, the increased CT to their side of the field, it's always a bad time. However, versing a side team with no Wano Law, 
we could have a chance. We'll see how things go. Uh, you know, you have to respect the side team and what they're able to do. Though, I, I personally don't think the side team is the number one team anymore. I think Dex is probably the number one. Um, I mean, you, you can make arguments for both. Uh, you know, Sai and Dex are the two best teams right now in Rumble. They are incredibly good, and they're, they're honestly good in a lot of different situations. They've got very good offensive and defensive capabilities. Dex particularly have very good defensive capabilities. So, let's see what we're able to do here. Obviously, Akainu is going to be a heavy hitter here because of the significant health cuts. Unfortunately, Smoothie was unable to launch her special, already being hit by Gaban. Okay, taking a little bit of damage up here, which is not good. At least we got Shiryu coming in. A little bit of additional damage. They're going to come in with the Rebecca Toy Soldier. We do have the uh, the slashes on this team with Izo Okiku and also the Smoothie. I guess Izo Okiku in this matchup is actually not very good, though they're actually doing pretty serious damage considering. That's actually not bad at all. I I'll take that. I'll take that. So here we go with the Kaido. Reduce defense and damage. And then here we go with Akainu. So hopefully get a couple knockouts would be nice. Nice, okay, so got rid of Rebecca and also Gaban. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I hate going against Yamato, and Odin hasn't even launched yet, too. Odin is going to hurt. He is... And the fact that both Akainu and Kaido both are hit with the half stats, that really hurts us here. And then even Smoothie nearly got fully knocked out there. Can we please delay the, the Odin? Yes, we did! Oh, we knocked out Odin, too! Let's go! Okay, Groggy Monster's not launching. Oh, unfortunate. Okay, this is looking really close. This is a really, really close matchup. If they had one or Lord, this would have already been over. We would have already lost. Uh, let's see. Who's launching next? Akainu just missed out on a special. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Smoothie's down. Okay, we got to hope that Akainu can do some pretty heavy lifting here. Everyone is ready to launch their special. Smoothie, no. Oh, my God. Akainu's still up. Okay, Dory. What are you going to do? Uh, not bad, but not the best. Dude, Akainu, please! He's dead. No! Oh, it's a rip, dude. It's a rip. Oh, dang it. We got we got a little unlucky, but it is what it is. You know, the side team, they've got good offensive capabilities. You, As I said, you got to respect it. The, at least we delayed the Odin, you know, with, with the with the smoothie special. That could have probably ruined us. And, and obviously, smoothie just got the straight-up KO against Odin. But Yamato was was really, really bad for us. Halving our stats and also just straight up KOing two of our characters at once wasn't very good. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Wasn't expecting to get, to get the win anyway, but let's see if we can find another opponent. This is actually a pretty similar team that we took on first of all, except instead of having the defensive style team, they've actually got the Odin on there instead, but also Luffy crew, which can help out the free spirit, the free spirit side of their team. Uh, another thing I was kind of thinking of is instead of Izo and Okiku potentially could even try out Tezoro. I haven't used Tezoro since the level limit break release, and I think he would actually be a pretty decent unit to use alongside this crew that we have right now, actually. I think it would be a pretty fitting choice. Uh, you know, the increased CT would be kind of nice, but, you know, obviously Izo and Okiku provide some really nice abilities too. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully, we can have the same kind of outcome that we had in the very first match of the video here. Let's see who's going to be launching first. Watching out for, Kai uh, for, for, for Jack. Jack on their side of the field typically will launch relatively quickly, and Akainu just missed out on the special. Smoothie just missed out on her special. Okay, so we're not getting any Jack special. Looks like Shiryu is going to go first. A little bit of additional damage there because they are strength enemies. Here we go with the Ace. Really, really worried about Luffy crew as well. If we could... Uh, but then again, Luffy crew are going to revive even if we do knock them out. So, yeah, this is kind of annoying. Okay, we do have Kaido and Akainu launching after the fact. So, that's actually going to be really good for us. I do like that Kaido is launching first for the defense down. And then we get all of Akainu's damage, which is probably going to help us out a little bit better. Luffy did revive. So, we actually might just win straight up here. Hold up. Oh, we just nearly got the full KO. All right, Final Tap Kid is in the building. He is ready to go. Although, Smoothie is going to KO and uh, just go ahead and stop that from occurring right there. Put up the red stop sign and said, not today, Josephine. That's what we like to see. Smoothie, dude. That, that's Dude, Smoothie ain't bad. I think Smoothie's actually a pretty good addition to the quick team. Being able to delay their CT from launching... That's incredibly powerful. And she's got a 26 CT, mind you. So she's going to launch pretty quickly. She's going to launch like two to three times per, per run. So you got to respect that. That's actually pretty good.
So final thoughts about Legend Smoothie and Pirate Rumble. I am actually a pretty big fan of this unit, though if you are focusing on using a quick team in Rumble, then yeah, she's actually really, really good. But I think it really comes down to the other characters that you're using. Remember, if you're using Mono Quick, you definitely want Kaido, you definitely want Akainu, right? Those two are a given. But then building around that, you know, you kind of have a lot of choices. You could use Magellan, you could use Iza Okiku, you could use Legend Brook, you could use Tezor, you could use Legend Cracker, you could use this smoothie there's lots of really obscure choices that you could use alongside the other quick units that we were just talking about in terms in terms of pirate rumble rare recruits you've got senor pink you've got shiryu you've got the groggy monsters um you had the frankie that came out relatively recently so again like quick have a lot of different choices but i don't think quick is going to be that go-to team that you can use to take on just about every single opponent um i just don't think they have the right assets in order to allow you to do that um they i feel like they need some more ct increasing specials to make sure that their specials have a really good cycle they're launching quickly but all things considered, I do think that this is a very nice addition to the quick team, being able to delay the CT, applying paralysis, pretty serious damage too, three times her attack to a target two times is no joke. Um, so I'm actually a pretty big fan of this unit overall. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.